What is up guys, it's me Faith and Malemnus and welcome to another video two weeks after the last one. Holy shit, you know I used to do a video a week. I used to do a video like every day. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened? I guess I'm just lazy, but hey, you know what? I've actually been noticing something and it's, it's always pissed me off. It's always made me upset You know this whole I don't know if you guys use Twitter I don't know if you follow me on Twitter by the way. It's at Moliminous. It's not really that difficult Just you know my name, but there is so much bullshit that goes on on that website like Jesus Christ I can understand why half of its bots and the other half is k-pop stands We're all just stuck in the fucking middle between the war of the two But there's this whole idealistic concept of what it is to be an artist and the whole concept of being an artist at all Like these are some weird nebulous concepts. They really don't have any defined nature But if you're an artist, you're kind of like a protected class on Twitter. It's like okay Actually, you know what? It's like being a woman it's like being a woman in 2020. You know you have feminism, which is supposed to be uplifting you, it's supposed to be empowering you, and it's supposed to be giving you, uh, I don't know, some sort of feeling of belonging to a, a group, a sense of ideas, or a sense of identity, something like that, right? But you've noticed that usually if you ever go against the grain on any kind of topic, you're immediately disowned and you're, you know, pretty much labeled as an Uncle Tom or someone who's pretty much poisoned by the patriarchy. That's kind of what it is to be an artist on Twitter. I've never seen a group that is more protected and more demonized than artists. And I'm using artists again, how they use artists, which pretty much encompasses anyone from people making it much paint to people who are literally recreating the Mona Lisa in modern times. If you draw a character too busty, too curvy, too attractive, traditionally speaking, you're pretty much demonized. You're just hated. You're an awful, horrible, misogynistic person. You clearly hate females, even if you are a female who is drawing it, even if you're drawing it apparently to proportion, because I guess real life, if you're just too curvy and you translate that to a digital format or a 2D format, well, <laughs> that's just, you know, catering to systemic oppression of women. But if you draw women too fat or tumblery, well, then everyone's gonna hate you because you're just another SJW. It's weird. It's like you cannot win if you're drawing stuff on Twitter. And whether you like to admit it or not, YouTube swings are more right. Twitter swings definitely way more left. All those right people who get tons of views on YouTube and stuff, they get shitted on on Twitter, and all those lefties on Twitter who get like 100,000 upvotes get made fun of and millions of views on YouTube uh, by all those commentators. It's just how it goes. I'm not sure why it is that YouTube is the right and Twitter's the left, but that is the duality of man in the modern era. But I don't know, like, people also have an interesting thing about correcting artists because Apparently, you're not allowed to have fun when you draw anymore. You're supposed to somehow not critique people, let them draw however they want, whether it be an interpretation, as long as it's the right interpretation, such as turning white characters black or skinny characters fat or removing the breasts on characters to make them more flat chested and quote unquote realistic. That's okay. Don't do the opposite. You're literally Hitler if you do that. But we're also supposed apparently not supposed to draw boobs a certain way or draw characters a certain way. You, we, we have to correct it. We have to snidely quote tweet you and go, there, correct it for you because that's how, that's how you get hired, by the way. I see people do this with official character releases and sketch arts that are released from companies. My guy, if, if you're trying to get hired by that person, probably not best to quote tweet them, uh, tell them that, they, that you corrected their work. Uh, that, that's probably not the best impression that you want to make. Probably shouldn't do that if you're smart or do because God knows I don't want any of you to actually be creating the media that I consume. Look, I get it. Trust me. I understand. Honestly, I make a lot of stuff that people would consider dog whistling to the alt-right. I'm, I'm sure many of my subscribers actually watch my videos and pay attention to some of the subtle stuff that I say and <laughs> probably realize that. But I'm honestly more of a lefty, if I'm honest. I get the need to see yourself represented in the media. I understand where you're coming from with that. And it's completely fine for you to go ahead and create it yourself. If you want to go ahead and make Ness 
black er and you know i don't know more realistic you do you man it's you it's just lines on a fucking piece of paper this isn't a real person i don't need a fucking white knight for them if you do you're a fucking simp and a cuck i don't care what you know some retard on twitter is telling you no that's retarded it's not real draw it however you want to do it and if you want to make her white and overly busty, go ahead, do it. However, I want to tell both groups that neither of you are free from consequences. When you put media out into the public space, people are going to react to it. And if you didn't want people to react to it at all, you probably shouldn't have posted it anywhere. You should have just kept it huddled away in a corner of shame. And I don't like the whole mentality of just growing a thicker skin. Yes, I have a thick skin. Yes, I'm one of the jokes, but I understand not everyone can just do that. That sometimes jokes and things like that affect people differently. But if you're going to do something that is inherently controversial and you know both extremes are confrontational towards the other side, you have to expect that. Now you can protect your tweets, you can protect that. However, you're limiting the visibility. And if you want a safe space where you can promote this type of art, well, I, I don't know what to tell you. The internet isn't a nice, safe space. It's literally filled with assholes. Literally, actually. You know, I, I was seeing literally as in figuratively, but no, no, I, I mean it literally too. I think if you're attacking someone because they made a Tumblrized version of it, you're an asshole. And I think if you're attacking someone because they made a bimbo version of the character you like, you're also an asshole. It's fine to laugh at each other group and to have your gripes with it, but if you start, I guess, shit flinging and you consider yourself to be on the moral high ground on either side, you're just dumb. You're not smart. You're not nearly as smart as you probably think you are, nor is progressive. Good art is something that takes a lot of time, and I commend anyone, even if it's not necessarily a style that I enjoy, who sat down, take the time to actually create something. Creating something is something that so many people actually want to do, but so few people actually put the time and effort into learning how to do it, or even just doing it. It could be shitty, it could be horrible, but you have to start from somewhere. And so if you're already doing shit, you're above 99% of the people commenting about what it is you just did. It's really easy for you to get lost in this left versus right kind of battle on Twitter as an artist. And it's really easy to succumb to catering to one side because God, do they shill out a lot of money to support the people that they wanna support if they're catering to the views and ideologies that they report to have. But it is a dangerous game that you're playing and one that I think you need to realize that you do have to actually eventually pay the consequences for playing. Shadman is an amazing artist, or at least a decent one, but he's never going to be able to be mainstream. He's done too much shit and definitely <laughs> caters too much to a certain particular crowd to ever obtain true mainstream appeal. We'll always talk about him in certain circles and hush whispers and tones, but he'll never really evolve past that. Zontan is a little bit more likely to because of the less extreme nature of her work, but because of the nature of her work, she's still probably not going to be able to go as mainstream as some other artists. Vice versa, if you're making a lot of SJW content and you're catering to that crowd, while you may be held up in Hollywood sometimes, Hollywood isn't in the market of like losing money so despite what you know some i don't know skeptic youtuber told you there's not this huge agenda pushing movement that's happening if it sells it sells and if it doesn't it's cut while you may get some likes and retweets and some pats on the back it doesn't always necessarily translate to mainstream appeal not the majority of the country isn't looking for these ultra diverse realistic body proportions on characters. It's just not what we want. If we wanted realism, we'd probably leave our houses more. I'm not saying either of you are, you know, bad. I'm just admitting that both of you have your flaws. Both of you can be pretty horrible to one another and to everyone else. Hey, you guys should probably cut the shit. And everyone else who's feeling this toxic mentality on Twitter should really come to the realization that it's ultimately pointless because we're all going to die eventually of the coronavirus. And we should succumb to that. But that's all I really actually have to say on the matter. I hope you enjoyed my little rant with really no real reason for being created other than the fan. 
and uh, more than 250 characters about my gripes with a social media platform that I continually choose, actively choose, to still engage in despite saying how toxic and horrible it actually is to use. I am part of the problem. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and smash like. If you didn't, go ahead and dislike. I don't really give a fuck. I'm pretty sure neither of that helps. But you can comment how retarded I am or how based and red-pilled I am in the comments. I actually do read those occasionally. I will see you guys in the next one.